Okay guys, how are you all doing? I hope everyone is safe and well. Of course, these are pretty crazy times at the moment and a lot of us are living very different lives to what we are used to. And whilst this isn't the ideal uh, situation that we're in at the moment, the circumstances that a lot of us are in does actually give us an opportunity to learn a lot about ourselves or acknowledge certain things about ourselves that we maybe just wouldn't have paid too much attention to had we carried on with our everyday lives. So straight away when something like this happens, I feel like we all experience or notice the things that we were taking for granted and also where we were placing our priorities, who we were prioritising, what we were prioritising, things that we might feel now that we were almost wasting time on when we could have been doing something that's much more important to us. And of course with the gratitude Almost now we take a step back and realise all the things we actually are grateful for that we just didn't even know. Something we can observe at this time is our own feelings and emotions. We're very emotional beings, we're supposed to feel emotions and um, it's very hard usually to pinpoint what caused a certain feeling or emotion to rise in us with us having such busy lives, going everywhere, talking, having so many conversations in different environments, but at the moment uh, with much less going on for us, uh, we can maybe observe how something might happen around us and we feel a certain feeling or emotion arise, then we usually notice how we would act accordingly to how we feel. If something rises, we feel angry, we usually tend to react with anger. But acknowledging that we are emotional beings and watching these emotions rise and allowing them to rise, sometimes allows for a gap between the initial feeling and our response to it to the point where maybe that emotion rises and we don't react at all or maybe that emotion arises and your action instead is simply just in a different language to the initial feeling which can be a nice practice easier said than done of course but it's still it's definitely something we can observe and really learn about ourselves one thing that did surprise me when all of this got a lot more serious was just how quickly things can change or how everything can change. Uh, one minute you just be living your normal everyday life and then what seems overnight everything can seem different and really everything can change in a heartbeat uh, completely and maybe knowing this just allows us to maybe there's something that we're worried about or something that's stressing us out in a moment and maybe acknowledging just how quickly everything can change and how nothing is permanent, it makes it easier maybe to let that thing go in that moment. You might also be able to notice the way that you look at things. Do we sway more towards looking at the good things about something or the bad things? Uh, there's a nice old saying, when you look at a rose, do you complain that a rose has thorns? Or do you rejoice in knowing that thorns have roses? And you can also look at that and say, whoever, told, whoever taught you that thorns aren't beautiful, because you can pick the most beautiful sunset, go too close to it, and it'll hurt you. Um, but yeah, this just allows, this is something that is going to be a play factor in our entire life, the way that we see the world. And I do believe that if you change your mind, if you change the way that you look at things, you, you change the whole world for yourself, everything around you changes. The last thing I really want to mention is about letting go of the things that you don't have control of. So there's certain things, and this is a good example of things that are going to come our way, anything can technically come our way around us, things can happen tomorrow, we can't control all of these things. Yes, we can control what time we set our alarm for, but we can't control what happens necessarily around us all the time. Uh, so we can learn and use this time where we feel like we obviously have so little control to learn to let go of it and accept things how they are and rather than sitting and worrying and stressing about them just understanding this is just how it is in this moment appreciating that and then letting it go and that allows for much less discomfort and it also allows us to let go of ironically let go of the control that we never had anyway. Instead, we just let go of that feeling, that discomfort, that anticipation that doesn't serve us. 
Okay guys, so those are just a few things that I thought maybe we would be able to learn during this time. Obviously, we're not gonna learn everything in this time, but there is just that opportunity to learn about ourselves during this time. But yeah, most importantly guys, as always, look after yourself, keep smiling, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. High five. There we go.